Hello there, and welcome back to day five of National Poetry Writing Month. Today we'll be looking at odes, and I will be reading a couple, and I'll be directing you towards others. Basically, an ode is any piece of poetry that is directed to one particular person, thing, or audience, and it is typically written in thanks or appreciation of. Some examples include Ode to My Socks by Pe- Pablo Neruda, and this one is probably a really funny um, example of an ode, but it is a great example of an ode. Maru Mori bought me a pair of socks which she knitted herself with her shepherd sheep herder's hands, two socks as soft as rabbits. I slipped my feet into them as though into two cases knitted with threads of twilight and goatskin. Violent socks, my feet were two fish made of wool, two long sharks, sea blue, shot through by one golden thread, two immense blackbirds, two cannons, my feet were honored in this way by these heavenly socks. They were so handsome for the first time, my feet seemed to me unacceptable like two decrepit firemen, firemen unworthy of that woven fire of those glowing socks. Nevertheless, I resisted the sharp temptation to save them somewhere as schoolboys keep fireflies, as learned men collect sacred texts. I resisted the mad impulse to put them into a golden cage and each day give them bird seed and pieces of pink melon, like explorers in the jungle who hand over the very rare green deer to the spit and eat it with remorse. I stretched out my feet and pulled on the magnificent socks and then my shoes. The moral of this ode is this. Beauty is twice beauty, and what is good is doubly good when it is a matter of socks made of wool in the winter. Another example of an ode is America by Robert Creeley. America, you ode for reality. Give back the people you took. Let the sun shine again on the four corners of the world you thought of first but did not do did not your own or keep like convenience. People are your own word. You invented that locust and term. Here you say and say is where we are. Give back what we are. These people you made us and nowhere but you to be. Another famous example of an ode is Ode to Psyche by John Keats. And another fabulous famous example is Ode to the West Wind by Percy Shelley. Um, I know a lot of fan. I know a lot of people are fans of Percy Shelley. Personally, I just couldn't get into the work, um, but hopefully, you'll be inclined to go and explore an ode. There's also a fun little twist on this tradition that you can take an anti ode. For example, when I was 13 years old, my friend and I were sitting at my mom's office and we were sitting on the floor writing poetry while she was finishing up some paperwork or something. And we had a spider crawling across the floor. And my friend and I were not scared. We didn't like hurt it, kill it, ask it to move, anything like that. But we wrote an anti-ode to the spider. So you can do something like that if you'd like. I hope that you'll consider dropping your poems in the chat below or sharing them to your favorite social media spaces. I hope that you'll tag me so that I can see what you're coming up with. I hope you're having a fantastic time with National Poetry Writing Month. I know that I am. And I'll be back tomorrow with another mini workshop. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon.